Hello, my name is Fernando and I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. Today I'm going to show you about container scanning and how it can benefit you. If you're distributing your application in a container, then there's a good chance that your container images are based off of someone else's container images. Now some of these images may contain known vulnerabilities, and this is where container scanning can help you. Container scanning finds the vulnerabilities and gives you detailed information on how to resolve them. Now let's check it out. Container scanning is integrated into the pipeline. A good way to set up the pipeline is to include all the security scans after the build stage, with container scanning being one of them. That way we know that the container can build and we run a static set of tests before deploying to a staging environment. The container scanning results should be integrated into the merge request. There were three vulnerabilities detected for container scanning. They are shown here sorted by order of severity. When clicking on a vulnerability, you can get more detailed information. The information contains links to the CVE, which shows how the vulnerability affects your system. It also displays the severity of the vulnerability, along with which namespace it was found in. How to resolve the vulnerability is also listed. Using this information, a developer can push a fix to the same branch as this merge request, and then the scans will rerun, enhancing security before moving on in the pipeline. It's a good example of shifting left. Some container scanning vulnerabilities can be auto-remediated. This is done in the pipeline view. Just click on the security tab and you can see all the found vulnerabilities. Then by clicking on the vulnerability, you'll find detailed information as well as a button to resolve with a merge request. This means that by just clicking on a button, a merge request with the fix will be created and the pipeline will be rerun on that merge request. That way, all your tests are run with the fix before pushing to production. Merge requests can also contain a list of approvers for vulnerability issues. If a vulnerability with high, critical, or unknown severity is found, someone from this group will be required to approve a merge request before any changes can be committed. Members of this group would usually be members of the security team, but can differ based on your organization. In order to add merge request approvals, you can go to the project settings and see the merge request approval section. Here's where a group of approvers can be added to the vulnerability check. Different rules can also be set up for merge request approvals, such as preventing the author from merging, as well as those who have been contributing code to the merge request. In order to enable container scanning, all we need to do is just add the container scanning template to the ci.yaml, and then we're good to go. For auto remediation to work, you must set the git strategy to fetch, so that the container scanning tool has access to the repository. Here's a few things we've learned about container scanning. To keep up to date, check out about.gitlab.com and be sure to subscribe. Here at GitLab, everyone can contribute, even my dog Oreo.